Anya van Hoogstraten started Yale last September. The university was her top choice, and getting in was a dream come true. She was accepted as a dual major in molecular biology and theater. She quickly joined an a cappella group. Finding out she couldn't return to campus after spring break because of the coronavirus was a big blow. One of the main draws of Yale was the extracurricular life with the vibrant theater scene and, and music scene. And that being taken away, kind of, you know, that really drastically affects like my experience and how much I'm getting out of college. Amid the pandemic, Yale and many other colleges across the United States switched to remote learning. It's unclear what the college experience will be like in the fall. Admissions expert Barry Norman says some are looking into the possibility of deferral. There will be more students who defer, for sure, especially first year students. But there also are going to be some limitations um, placed by colleges because they need to have a certain number of students on campus to make it financially feasible for them. Some colleges like Harvard, Yale and Columbia have long waiting lists, so they'll probably be OK, even if there are many requests for deferrals. They also have large endowments, which can help cover some of the running costs. Other schools have less wiggle room. Most colleges are tuition dependent, and when those tuition dollars don't come in, they're not going to make budget and buy a lot. The American Council on Education predicts enrollment will drop by 15% for the next academic year. That would trigger a $23 billion revenue loss. Some colleges have cut back on capital spending and put freezes on hiring and salaries. For students who do return to class but in a remote setting, there are questions about whether they should have to pay full tuition. It seems like there's no point in paying for a full college experience when you're getting not even close to that. Um, but we don't really know what's going to happen and we just kind of have to wait and see what they decide. Many U.S. universities were struggling financially before the pandemic hit. Norman believes this will push some of them over the edge. It's a foregone conclusion that some colleges aren't going to make it out on the other side of this. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.